assalamu alaikum everyone uh, welcome to this another session uh, so today we are going to talk about does gpa matter so this is the most important question that a lot of students ask specifically at undergraduate level when they are completing their degrees so they ask a lot about so does gpa matter so today we are going to talk about like does it really matter to have a good gpa in your uh, program or in your specific uh, degree program after and what are the aspects of uh, getting a job or getting a scholarship if you have a very good gpa or if you don't have a very good gpa so it's basically a, a kind of myth so how much gpa is a good gpa so there is no right answer to that how much gpa is a good gpa the minimum gpa that i think you should maintain based on your experience is like for example if it's out of 4 you should have at least 3 out of 4 gpa in order to normally that is the eligibility criteria that in majority of the cases for example in pakistan they require a minimum of 3 gpa out of 4 in order to be eligible to apply for the uh, different kind of scholarships uh, uh, in, advertised by the government but uh, like for other uh, different scholarships there is no set criteria okay what should be your minimum gpa in some specific uh, for example when you are applying for scholarships they ask like you should have a minimum gpa of this much in order to be eligible to uh, apply for this scholarship but in most of the cases i have seen for example erasmus they don't have any specific criteria uh, set or written there that you should have certainly this gpa so that you are eligible to apply for the scholarship similarly Uh, for example in some cases when you are enrolling for a masters uh, degree program they are uh, there is some uh, specifically in education uh, sector in pakistan like when the universities they are uh, recruiting or they are uh, like uh, giving admissions to the students uh, they require a certain gpa or in in your undergrad degree that you should have in order to be eligible to apply for the masters program but in other parts of the world or for other scholarships i haven't seen like um, as much strict as this criteria that you should have minimum this gpa that you should that uh, and then you are eligible to apply for that specific program so it it, it sometimes it does matter sometimes it does matter in certain circumstances it depends on the situation and where you are applying but in general i think uh, a gp of 3 or more than 3 out of 4 it's good enough you can you are eligible to apply for scholarships you are even eligible to uh, apply for other uh, jobs like for jobs as well you can apply uh, like in all jobs but in certain uh, jobs they require the, or they do consider uh, a minimum gp requirement now i will tell you some of the stories that show that okay it doesn't sometimes it, it sometimes it matters sometimes it doesn't matter the gpa thing so it's a, uh, really like there's no uh, like specific or uh, pet answer to that like if it matters or not for example i have uh, in my when I, i completed my undergrad degree i had a cgp of 3.82 out of 4 so based on that i think i feel myself lucky that i uh, got admitted to erasmus mundus Uh, scholarship program and i think it was solely because i had a very good gp and i was among the toppers in the class but then i also see other examples in my class in the same class i had my other fellows who had even less than 3 gpa uh, out of 4 and then uh, they uh, got very good jobs and they initially started their jobs and now they are at very good positions after like so many years um, initially i think uh, uh, you can even sometimes and then there is another example you are good at in some subjects but in some subjects you are not that good and because of that your gpa is low for example uh, in programming you are very good and you have good grades like you have scored a's in all the subjects related to programming but in other um, uh, subjects you did not score you got c's or uh, d's even it doesn't matter because i know uh, one of my friend he was uh, he was asked a question that okay your gpa is quite low he said i only like programming so he applied for a job which was related to core uh, solely related to programming so he got he, and he was very good in that so he had a very good interview and they just hired him because of his programming skills so he got that job and then uh, eventually he was very successful and now he's at a very good uh, position uh, in fact like he is a team lead uh, in, in in a very good company um so uh, it varies there are a lot of examples which show that okay uh, gpa doesn't matter and then there are also examples which show that okay sometimes gpa gives gpa gives you an edge for example my case in which i got i think 
scholarship because of my good GP. Otherwise, I did not have normally the in Rasmus fellowship. They, uh, they look for the GPA. They look for other uh, achievements as well. For example, your publications, your experience, your uh, work experience or other uh, exams that you've taken, for example, GRE or something like that. I did not have any of these. I just had my GPA and then I just wrote a uh, statement of purpose and that's it. And I was among the toppers. I just uh, uh, shared with them my certificates uh, that I have good, I have like scored very good GPA and um, I have been awarded with these uh, uh, certificates for uh, having good GPA in, in, in during my undergrad degree. And based on that, I think it got selected. So it, it's it's a very uh, I think uh, varying criteria. And uh, so uh, what I would suggest that I think at least you should maintain a minimum of three GPA. And uh, recently I got, uh, uh, I think I saw a message on Facebook for one of the Facebook groups in which a student, she got admitted in in, in Erasmus Mundus program. Uh, though she was in reserve list, but then she made it into the final list and she had only a GP of 3.1 out of four. And then uh, she just had only internship and then some just she had a degree and uh, nothing more than that and she got admitted so sometimes it also depends like who uh, who is competing with you in that specific program for example if you apply for a job uh, what are the strengths and weaknesses of other mm, people and what the company is looking for are you good in specific those subjects in which uh, now you have got good grades in those subjects and even if your GP is not good and your knowledge is quite good in those specific areas, then you might get a job. Um, same uh, stands for scholarship as I gave you example. So, so, so it varies. So what matters most apart from GP, I think uh, initially maybe you need some uh, a bit of support from uh, for to get into the industry based on your GPA maybe. Uh, you might get an edge, uh, but then afterwards uh, only uh, your experience matters. Once you are into the job, then it, the, it is the experience that counts. Or maybe in your undergrad degree, you have been working as a freelancer and you have experience of a lot of projects, then that also counts and you might end up uh, in a good job. So experience also counts a lot uh, apart from GPA. It's just at the start when you complete your degree, but later on, I think it's all about experience and how much um, uh, and with, with what position you have worked and what capacity you have worked and what are the uh, skills or uh, additional uh, competencies that you have for example you have uh, done some additional courses um, for example MOOCs or you have learned some softwares and things like that so uh, you don't need to worry too much about the GPA over the years I have seen that I have seen people with uh, less than three GPA uh, having getting very good jobs and people with very good GPA they were initially started with uh, not as good jobs as uh, for example their friends who uh, who had low GPAs so uh, and it, it's not like uh, as I said not a fixed criteria so don't worry too much but just focus on what actually you like and what you want to do and based on that if you're good in that um, you will definitely uh, be successful then uh, apart from experience then there are other uh, for example personality traits like for example uh, how much outgoing you are sometimes uh, the companies or uh, for example even in scholarships they ask for okay how what have you participated in some other activities for example have you volunteered for something or you have participated in some other uh, activities apart from your uh, academic activities and based on that uh, they want to see how much outgoing you are or how much kind of like uh, skills for example leadership skills you have and uh, how much good communication skills you have and things like that so all these things matter as well apart from your GP so uh, it's a combination of various things so uh, that's what I think about that is my experience over the years that I have learned and I have seen students my students you I see myself I have seen my friends so this is what I think that okay at the end of the day okay GPA uh, does matter a bit but also uh, if you don't have a good GPA you don't need to like uh, be quite upset okay I don't have and I cannot go anywhere I don't have any chances of going anywhere do apply for a job to apply for scholarships even if you have a low GPA but um, maybe you have some other skills or expertise or you have some good um, uh, expertise in that specific area which you like and then uh, you will definitely uh, be successful so hope uh, this helps you a lot and uh, and uh, not a lot if somewhat it helps you uh, so uh, thank you very much for listening to the presentation and hope it is helpful to you guys to understand okay what is the myth regarding this GPA thing and uh, uh, you can watch some other videos as well regarding different scholarships thank you very much have a nice day